Ready? Okay, this is a half post. You do not put the post down into the ear canal. You're going to put the, you're going to lay the post on this little nub right here in the ear like so. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your, your backer rod and you're going to measure from this little nub to the tip of the ear and then cut it oh, about a half inch or so a little longer. Then you're going to prep it with two layers of duct tape and back tape it just like you would with the regular post. Then you take your, your post when you have your post all ready and you put a thin layer over here Sherry a thin layer of glue on your post like so and then you put a thin layer of glue on the puppy's ear from the little nub all the way to the top. It doesn't have to be a lot of glue, just a thin layer. Like so. Give it a second and you want to have all your all your tape ready, your Zonus tape and your um, Metapore tape. You take your post right here, <laughs> pull the ear up as hot, as far as you can. Set the end of it with no tape on it, on the nub. Pull the ear up as high and tight as you can. And stick it. You may have to cut a little off the top. If you got a little long, again, cut your finger, not the puppy's ear. Your little, your little, the piece of tape that you tore in half from the ear over the post. Jinx. And then wrap one around, jinxy, but not tight. Just loosely lay it and then squeeze. Then with your finger tape or whatever, whatever this stuff is called, finger tape, it's the gauze that sticks to itself. <laughs> Stick it to the post and always wrap from the inside, from front to back. So you preserve that fold, that's a natural fold in the ear and you always want to keep that. Again, wrap loosely and squeeze. Hush, guys. When you have that done, you take your Zonus tape, you pull the ear up as high as you can, you're going to do part on the gauze and part on the ear to secure the gauze because otherwise it will ride up. And again, just loosely <laughs> and squeeze. Then you're going to make a third post that goes between the ears and you're going to take a piece of, no you can hold the ears up, you're going to take a piece of, you might want to come over here Shane, yeah. take a piece of backer rod and okay and add a little. Have somebody hold the ears, pull the ears up as high as they can and you're going to cut it right there. So it sets right between the ears. Then what you do is two layers of duct tape and um, then Zonus tape, but not back tape. Uh, do not do the sticky side out. What you end up with is a little post that looks like so. Then you take a piece of tape and you set the, the brace on it. Wrap a piece around the middle so the tape stays on. 
have your assistant <laughs> hold Puppy's ears up, pull Puppy's ears up as far as they can. <laughs> I need her up a little more, yeah. And then you're going to secure this as close to the head as possible, but on the tape. And you go around <laughs> and around. Try to get it even. As even as you can. Around and around. You take more Zonus tape. Go up underneath it. Over the top. And around. And then do one more for good measure. Because they, they will come off. Head up. <laughs> and if it's not perfect, well, it's okay. But that's the idea. They don't mind this nearly as much. And you can leave this as long as it doesn't get wet. You can leave it for a week and then change it in the same way. Clean the ears real good, make sure they're dry, and put them right back up. You do need two people to do this, though. This is almost impossible to do by yourself. And that's the finished product. <laughs> and that's it, guys.